Uh, so investigators say that man also worked as a volunteer worship leader at a Bay Area church. And ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has the details on this case and how the crisis center hopes to keep the trust of the community. It started with a phone call. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says last month a female teen called 211 during a crisis. She gave her contact info and was told someone would call her back. Shortly after, the victim got a call from a man identifying himself as an employee of the crisis center. After speaking with that victim over the phone, he then called her from a restricted cell phone number and began asking her very personal questions. He was asking this teenager for her Instagram account. Detectives say the suspect eventually sent the victim explicit photos and videos and asked for photos of her. The victim reported what happened, and after an investigation, Christopher Augusto Laraquente Cotto was arrested. The sheriff's office says Laraquente Cotto is also a volunteer worship leader at a local church. We're showing his mugshot because the sheriff's office is looking for anyone else who may have been victimized by this suspect. The crisis center tells me as soon as they confirmed the inappropriate contact, he was fired. It's a horrible violation. I mean, it's it's a, a vulnerable person. Sorry, it's a vulnerable person who was reaching out for help um, that became a victim again. I sat down with Clara Reynolds, the president and CEO of the Crisis Center, who has a message for people worried about a breach of trust. I apologize. I apologize. Um, and I'm, I'm, I guess I'm grateful to be able to say that this is an anomaly. This isn't something that happens every day. Um, that we take this very seriously. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Take a second. If something like this can happen here, it can happen anywhere. The crisis center says the former employee passed background checks before he was hired and was an employee for less than 60 days. Going further to say they're reviewing policies and procedures to do everything they can to keep something like this from happening again. Reynolds is also hopeful that if someone doesn't feel comfortable calling them right now, that they'll still reach out somewhere and get the support they need. If you think you may be a victim or if you have more information related to this case, detectives with the sheriff's office ask you to reach out and give them a call. In Hillsborough County, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.